Well, guys, I'm doing a little cleanup. I had to take a bunch of stuff out of the truck and reorganize some stuff. I got some Lysol spraying everything down. Real good, all the door jams and stuff. Wetting everything down real good. With Lysol. Just doing a thorough cleaning. Doors, windows, all the little holes and nooks and crannies and stuff. Getting everything nice. And sterilized. And I'm going back through my rag and getting all the, the little creases and folds and corners and nooks and crannies. And, uh, you know, because you'd be surprised at how dirty your vehicle can get. You know, when you're working and you're doing a lot of camping in your truck. I don't know how the people that live in their vehicles, you know, keep their stuff clean. But uh, I'm sort of a, a neat freak myself. So I try to stay on top of that kind of stuff. A lot of stuff I took out of here. I stripped all my stuff out of here. Took everything out. <clears throat> Opened up the back. Stripped everything out. All the bedding and everything. I'm gonna wash all that. And all this, I'm gonna secure these wires and stuff a little bit better and everything. And uh, get the generator out. Everything out of this side. I'm gonna wipe everything down. I was surprised at how many things I had in my little cubby holes and stuff down in here. Bunch of stuff in the dashboard there, all kinds of stuff. It was a mess. But uh, I'm, I'm working at it. I want to get it done. Guys, I know the light quality is bad, but um, I got my truck nice and cleaned out and everything and whatever. Now I can start work on my new air conditioner project. Um, I got all the stuff I think I need to do it with. And um, I'm going to start working on it uh, today. It's about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock Sunday. It's my last little hoo-ah. For the weekend before back to work next week so I, I wanted to get something accomplished i mean i pretty much slept all weekend i mean i was just dog tired but anyway um i'm gonna try to get as much done as i can because this is cold walk time he's gonna miss out on his walking today because of me doing this because i slept most of the weekend away but anyway such as it is when you got a full-time job and you're trying to you know live but uh anyway um I spent the time, most of the time Saturday, cleaning this thing out real good with. I did a really good job of cleaning the truck out with. It smells good, it looks good, it worked out good. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoy this.
still it's in there. Still a work in progress. But uh, I can get in and out without any yoga. So let the tailgate down, climb up in. I got plenty of space to get through. Then once I'm inside, I can pull the tailgate up. Behind myself. And uh, only thing left is to close this up behind me once I'm inside. Yes, yeah, so I got it in here. My main concern was making sure that when the water drips, which it always does when you got an the going, drips outside of the truck. It drips right down here onto the back of the uh, tailgate here, onto there, and then it drips down into the ground. So there's no moisture, no water coming inside the, the truck itself. That's nice and dry inside here. So that was important to me. But uh, that worked. Yeah, it looks really good on the inside here. Now, it took me a better part of the day to get this together. But I took my time, wanted to make it nice and trim good and everything. And practical where I could be able to, you know, open it and undo it without much trouble. So this worked out good. I still gotta figure out how to close this spot right here up right here. I got a working plan going for that. But uh that works out good. Um, I'm on house power right now. I don't have the generator going. But uh it's, it's a fact that, that generator will run this air conditioner, no problem. And my microwave and everything else in here. So I'm still good with that. I had to use my gorilla glue. Carpet, my uh, little panel I got there for the air conditioner to slide into. So that's a nice, good finished look right there I got going on there. But uh, darkness is cotton, as you can see. So, so I'm gonna um, turn in for the night and uh, finish this little project tomorrow probably. And um, this is about all I got done because I slept most of the day. And then come out until it got cooler in the afternoon to actually do this. You know, and then I had cold underfoot at the same time while I'm trying to work, which really isn't very good because it gets in the way. But um, I got it done. So it, it looks pretty good. It's going to be a nice job when I'm finished with it, whatever, you know. I just want to let you guys see my progress, everything. Because um, this won't get finished this weekend. But I'm well on my way towards having a really good setup. Um, most people set their air conditioners down here at the bottom of the tailgate on the bottom. And that's how I had it before. But as we all know, heat rises. You know, so you want the air conditioner at the highest level you can get it so that it, you know, takes the heat out. You know, that's the purpose of doing it, whatever. And plus, with it down here, you gotta climb over the tailgate to get into the back of the truck, and that involves some some um, some advanced yoga. You know, for a guy my size, that's seriously advanced yoga to do that to climb in there over that thing and get into the back, and then close it back up behind yourself, and then you gotta deal with cold running in and out too. You know, I had to come up with something more practical. But uh, stay tuned. I think this little way I've got it set up here. The way I got it figured out, it's gonna work really good. So, uh, to see the rest of this, I'll see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.